So today is gonna be a good day, a big day. It's our day off, it's Monday. We are heading out on a backpacking trip for a night. Um, we're gonna do Duck Pass today. So we gotta go to Terra. We got a lot we gotta do. We're gonna head out there and get ready for that. So it'll be cool to share that with you guys. We're heading to town and we are gonna go get our permit for our hike. And we're gonna get some breakfast, have a little bit of a nice morning. We're kind of hoping the wind sticks a little bit. If it stays a little windy, then it'll get rid of the bugs. Gonna head to town. Get some stuff done. I'll edit this one. We used to fill this truck for like 60 to 70, and it just cost us 130 bud. I hate it here. It's terrible. Nothing but pain and suffering. There is a bakery. Now we're gonna get yummy pastries at a bakery, so you know, it's not too bad. Ready for some breakfast? Place reminds me of Disneyland. Reminds me of Disneyland. Salsas or anything? Nope. I'm heading out of the bakery now. I am going to get our permit for the hike and a bear canister. I'm excited. I think it's going to be super fun. It's a quick one nighter. We'll probably hike like four to five miles today, camp, and then hike back tomorrow. So, so I just got back in from visitor center. I got our permit for the hike. This big guy, one of us gets to carry in our backpack. I head back, pick up Daniel, head back up to home, and we can start packing and head out soon. Winnie, are you ready? Are you gonna pack up? Where's your backpack? You gotta get your stuff. Finished packing and it is all good to go. Winnie has a backpack that she is carrying um, with her food. Daniel has his backpack, he has our bear canister, and we're just about ready to go, huh, Neil? You excited to go on a hike? Yeah. Okay, we're officially ready. We are packed. We are headed to the trailhead, which is like a three minute drive from where we are. Um, but we didn't want to walk because it would add like two and a half miles probably to the hike. And most of it would be uphill right now. So we're not going to do that. So we're heading over there. Come here, Mooney, come here. So the whole first part of this hike is switchbacks up a hill and we just got to about the top. And then it's a very gradual uphill until we get to the pass where we do like a big, another um, big set of switchbacks and get over the pass, so. Anytime. I remember, yeah. We just came up to a little lake. We did this hike last year and there was no water in this. So it's kind of cool to see it full of water. It was a perfect little water spot for Mooney. She went in, got her backpack all wet. 
She's doing great. She loves it. Don't mind me, I'm eating a Jolly Rancher, but there's still snow everywhere up here. We've been open for like almost a month now, but this is way higher in elevation, and we're gonna see a lot of it. We're gonna see a lot more water than we're used to as well. So that's gonna be exciting. One of the best parts about this hike in particular, and why we love it so much, is there are tons of lakes and rivers and stuff like every quarter mile once you get past the first like mile of switchbacks every quarter mile is like a beautiful lake or a really pretty little river waterfall something um yeah we're gonna come up on one right now which the best part of having that on a hike is we don't have to carry any water for me true we don't have to carry too much for us because we can filter because there's fresh like running creeks all over the place true so true, that's true, a huge Talking about the amount of snow there is. Look at this. Soft. <laughs> it is soft. Mooney. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Jeez. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. No man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so right. So this is one of the prettier parts of this hike. You can kind of see all around me, we're surrounded by little trees, but there's so much water running and creeks running. It's absolutely gorgeous. best part of this hike is there are no bugs. <laughs> the bugs have like been non-existent. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, uh, look at that. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, you can. We had a friend go out hiking on Friday. Today's Monday. And the mosquitoes, she said, were insane. Like, it was enough to make them not go on the hike. And so far, it's been awesome. So hopefully I don't drink it. But... I feel like it would be bad already. Like yeah. They'd be present all the time right yeah, now. Yeah. It was going to be an issue. Yeah. If there, were, if there were a ton of bugs out here, and we might, we're still walking a, a ways away, so there still might be bugs um, in general. But at least as far as now, there are no bugs. 
We are going to um, we are going to a lake that has like a creek and another lake behind it and like a bunch of marshy areas. Like that's where we're gonna be camping in that area. So we might be in trouble there, but hopefully not. Yeah, and then we'll just go in the tent and hide in there. I feel like this hike is a really good alternative to Little Lake Valley on Rock Creek. This one is so pretty, but not nearly as many people. It's a little more difficult, but it's not as easy and family friendly as Little Lake Valley is. But this is like, I mean, we have to go up. switch back some up and then head over. All right, we just talked to two backpackers who camped here last night and they said they caught 28 fish up over at the lake that we're camping at. So uh, that's a lot. I'm, I'm hoping to get kind of lucky, at least one for me on this trip, <laughs> at least one. But we got, we got a long trek ahead of us before we get there. Two miles and one of it is basically all uphill. So, wish us luck. This is part of the hike that's gonna get really cool. It's gonna suck for us, it's gonna be cool for you because you guys get to enjoy the view without having to walk all the way up the stinking that's mountain. Up we go. <laughs> Why didn't we go your way? Because we're almost there now. Look at her. <laughs> Winnie, what are you doing? Oh no. Such a happy girl. Oh no, she fell in. <laughs> Freaking gnarly. Hey, come here. Probably could go right, I could go right there, I'm sure. I'm scared now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my shoes are full of snow. Yeah, we just went straight up this. I'm stuck. <laughs> I freaking got stuck. Look at, look at where my foot went. 
My feet fell in those holes. Freaking stupid. Look at it. I know, my, my, whole, my whole leg fell in. the wrong way. You should have followed the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Mooney kept falling in and your legs got stuck. Yeah, <laughs> mine did too. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. So gnarly. A new place, a new home. Look at that. For a while, let me feel alive. So we made it pretty high up on, on the switchbacks. We made it to some tree line, which ruins our view. But we're almost there. Get me up, so ending, so I can find myself. Good girl, move. <laughs> So as you can see behind me, it's pretty bright, but this right here is the path. We're supposed to walk down this way. We had to just climb up all of this rock right here because so much of this path and just everything in general is covered in snow up here. So now we are almost at the, at the top. And I think we just have to get over this little hill and we'll see Duck Lake. It feels like forever since we've been able to hike flat ground. <laughs> So we have made it to Duck. We are about to head around Duck just a little bit to Pika Lake, which is where we're gonna camp for the day. But look at this view.
this lake is unreal. It is so crazy. It's so pretty up here, and the water is so clear. And it's massive. It is so. The lake's huge. We are headed over this little lake right back there. I brought mine too. Nice. We made it to our campsite. We're gonna pop up our tent right here in this area. Look at our view. Oh, there's Mooney, there's Delaney. Look at our view here. We got that lake, and then we got that lake. We've seen a few people out here. It uh, doesn't seem like anybody else is backpacking. We're gonna set up camp and then probably eat snacks and stuff and then go fishing is my goal. is all set up. I put on some more comfortable clothes and my water bottle so I can filter some more water. And we're heading down to the lake. Daniel's gonna fish for a little bit and Mo and I are just gonna hang out and enjoy it. And then we'll come back up here and make some dinner. Somebody came to find me. Right now, Daniel's working on his fishing pool and fishing stuff, and so I think I'm gonna spend some time filtering some water. I brought the water bottle I've been using um, down here with us, so I'm gonna probably try to drink a ton because I've drank like barely any water since we left on the hike today. I brought this blanket for Moo, and I carried it all the way out here, and she seemed content now. So she's been very helpful. She's pretty tired. Um, when we got to camp and we were setting up, she just laid down and started falling asleep. So, but she's done so good. She's really good. She's gonna sleep good too, hopefully. Mooney and I aren't doing too bad. We're hanging out. Daniel just caught a fish and it came off like right when he was at shore and his hook just like flung on the line. He's having a blast. Good job!
swim away? Good job. This dog is so tired. <laughs> She's never asleep. <laughs> She only ever lays on her side like that when she's really like tired and comfortable. So that was pretty cute. Hey, hey, come on. Winnie, come here. Oh my gosh. Winnie, come here. Oh. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's so big. Winnie, come here. Winnie, come here. Winnie, <laughs> stop. No. Come here. Um, do I need Oh, I got it right here. That's a big guy. It is. What's up, Blue? Look what I got. Dude, that hook's so far in here. Freaking out. Whoop. Think I'll be able to get it out pretty easy, though. Look. Look. Who's she? Buddy, come here. Oh, she's stuck. She's just she getting it. Um, is she good? Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Yeah, she stays away from the worm. Look at this guy. Good job. I don't know how to catch or hold fish after I catch them, but go hook you back in. Mom. Come here, Moon. No, Mooney. I missed it because of you. Gonna go around and explore around the Lake Pika. So now at this point, it's like almost six o'clock and we'll be in bed probably by like what, 7.38? Mm -hmm. Probably because, as soon as the sun goes down. yeah, as soon as the sun sets, it's like you have nothing else to do. That is move. Look at him. Yep. Hey, what are you doing? Is that video? Yeah. Wait, go back there and take a picture of us. <laughs> you look old <laughs> doing that. Wait, what about me? Come film me coming up. Yeah, it's not very level. Making dinner. Moo right here in she the background. Yeah, she's passed out. We're just making dinner. Lakeside, gorgeous view. Kind of waiting on that sunset. See how this looks. Got beef stroganoff. And we're cooking up some top ramen in that little bowl right there. We're gonna split them. Normally I have two meals. I usually like my Mexican chicken and rice, but we couldn't find it this time. So we're just going with one and a ton of snacks and some top ramen. <laughs> we didn't prep very well, but it'll be all right. Good morning guys. Last night the camera died on us, so we'll be finishing this out on my phone. But man, is it a morning? Um, I woke up at 5.30 today and look at this view. It is so pretty up here. I need some coffee. And for a walk, I'm gonna head back to camp, see if Daniel's awake yet, Mooney came out, went to the bathroom, and wanted to go back in the tent. So, she's not really awake yet either.
such a good girl. She was so tired last night. She kept just laying down on the rocks and falling asleep while we were eating dinner and stuff. We were able to like let her have a lot of freedom off leash. And so it's very nice. Huh. I love it. Look at this. So we just got done packing up. We're on our way out. We had a great time, and one more time. Look at this little view. What's up, Moose? Probably not gonna film as much on the way back just because it'll be all iPhone footage. Um, and you already saw most of the way here. Bye duck. Bye Pika. Way over there. Say bye Mooney. She's like deuces. We're almost to the bottom. Really close. There's the lakes. We came from way up there. Friggin' nuts. <laughs> Go get it, move. <laughs> so a We're in the home stretch. We have maybe a quarter of a mile to go. It's all downhill. Moody's squawking, because that's all she does. Yeah. We made it. Moody's. <laughs> Yeah. And we got to the truck. Truck, 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 truck. One of the best feelings after backpacking is taking off the backpack. The next best feeling is taking off the shoes. And then getting back to camp is going to be another. The next best part is sitting down. Mm -hmm. Right, Mo? <laughs> so. It's been a little while. Um, as you can see, I have my beard. <laughs> did you drop it? I didn't, no. It was just the it's mustache. Been it's been that long. But we just want to give a little update first. Finish off the video. To finish off the video. As you can see, the video right before this ended with us just getting in the car and leaving. It took me a long time. We had like three hours of footage, which is crazy and really hard to edit on an iPhone. That and then also I just kind of, I don't know. I've been kind of living here. Not really wanting to edit a video every single day and work super hard at it, but finally got to the ending, realized we didn't finish off the video by telling you our score and everything about it. So. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I loved it. I don't, think, I don't think it gets a 10 out of 10. I think. Why? I forgot the reason why. The reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it's pretty difficult of a hike, right? So you have the first incline, which is really hard. Um, actually it's not, well. Just not. It's, all it's pretty strenuous. It's not super pretty. Yeah. It's all in the woods. Uh -huh. It's not open and safe to views. Yeah. Um, so you have that kind of an issue, um, which isn't terrible. Um, but then the very last stretch, you also have, like, you have to pretty much scale the side of a mountain, which, again, not terrible, but. Um, it makes it a little less accessible, right? So whereas something as easy or like casual as like Rock Creek, which will probably be in the next video that I make, whenever that is, um, something as easy as that will be like higher rated because it takes you know less effort to get it all done and all that. Um, but great. I think. We'll give it like a 9.5 because I think it's perfect. I think it's a must see for sure. I think if you can make it to Duck, you gotta make it to Duck. It's probably the biggest lake we have. Well, was, great that's hike. it. Um, I'm gonna show you a tiny bit of where we were at on the map back in the house um, to end the video, but that's kind of about it. All right, real quick, as quick as I can make it because this video is already like 35, 36 minutes long. Here you go. Here's Duck Lake, right? So we 
Started out cold water right here. There's a parking lot. You go out on Duck Pass, right? So you go out here, follow these switchbacks up. That, those are the switchbacks that we were saying are pretty difficult. Is these ones right here? Um, but then you follow this and you hit your first lake at about a mile, a mile like and a half in, I would say, right here, Arrowhead. Then you go all the way down and you pass. Skeleton Lake, which is a really big lake that you see on your side. We, we spent a little bit of time there At Skeleton once you get to the back end of Skeleton you keep walking through this beautiful meadow Which is where we saw the waterfall and like the beautiful water that we walked across and Then you hit what is it Barney Lake? Got Barney Lake and then here's Duck Pass right here we got the big um, pass it's not terribly daunting but you do have to walk up all of this extra mile point one over here Topeka Lake we saw all of our campsite we hung out like right in here in between duck and Pika it's absolutely gorgeous super big lake really fun probably one of the best must-do hikes up here um, yeah, that's about it I don't know what else was I gonna say real quick Hopefully coming soon, I will have um, Little Lakes Valley for you. That one wasn't nearly as long, not nearly as much footage, so I don't have to do as much to get that out. Probably the prettiest and best hikes to go on here, so stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining us. If you watch all 36, 7, 8 minutes of this, um, good for you. Thank you. Um, if not, I don't blame you. This is going to be for me watch in like 10 years when we forget about this place you probably won't i'll probably be here in 10 years in august uh, why not <laughs> peace